Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I have a create a sim, and I honestly was not planning on uploading until the new year. I was like, I'm just gonna take the rest of the week off and just kind of chill and like do some behind the scenes work on my series and stuff and like prep videos so that I can start pushing some more out once January rolls around. And so that didn't happen obviously cause I'm here with the video today, but I just downloaded a whole bunch of custom content last night. I've been kind of CC shopping for the past two days. Like I went through Tumblr, found some custom content cause I didn't CC shop for like two months or something like that. So I was behind yet again and there's gonna be stuff being reblogged. I kind of have to go back and reblog some stuff because I wasn't reblogging as I was downloading, which I usually do. I don't know why I didn't this time, but I kind of have to go back and do that. And also the Sims resource for some reason I don't see a download button anymore. I don't know what is going on. I, I don't know. I can't download from the Sims resource. It sucks because I found so many good CC items, but I can't download them. So I don't know if anybody else has been dealing with that issue or if it's just me. I don't know, but please let me know in the comments if any of you guys have had that issue and found a solution. I would really appreciate it because I'm kind of struggling here. So one thing I was definitely looking out for when I was downloading custom content was looking into presets. Now, I haven't downloaded presets in a hot minute. I also have two videos that I've made on presets. If you guys haven't checked them out, I'll put them in the description if you guys are interested. But there will be a lot of presets reblogged over the next few days, I believe. Uh, I think that's what I left off on when I was reblogging stuff this morning. So that should be going out um, soon. But again, if you guys download my Sims, you probably won't see them exactly as they are because they're using custom presets, which kind of sucks that it doesn't transfer, but it kind of makes sense that that's the case because I have it in my game and you don't have it in yours. Same thing with CC. I'm kind of nervous to know what she looks like if you guys were to download her. Um, so hopefully I'll put her up um, um, later on today alongside her significant other of course now the theme of this creative sim again by the title you see it is the festive couple which kind of goes in line with my other creative sim which is like the creative couple I, I don't know why I started doing like these like the blank something or whatever I don't know it just kind of has happened <laughs> I don't know I feel like even though we're no longer in like the Christmas season I still feel like this is the festive era and I was like you know what, let me just go ahead and do white, red, and green um, as their colors. Now, there's like barely any green. The only green that is even in this Create a Sim is her eyeshadow. So, I mean, it still counts, I think. To me, those are festive colors, especially, well, Christmas colors more specifically. I didn't intentionally go in was like making a couple, but I wanted to make a male sim and I was just like, you know what, let me just make them a cute couple. And so I want to practice making males. I've been saying this for like the past year as well, but like I just haven't really gone into doing that as much as I say. I mean, I say a lot of things and I just, it's hard for me to execute everything that I have. Like I have so many things I want to do all the time. Like this past year, I wanted to do more lookbooks, more mod reviews, more CC shopping hauls. We had zero CC shopping hauls this year. I wanna change that coming into 2021. Now I'm saying this and I'm hoping that I can do this. I've done one lookbook and that was in 2019 in November and I loved the style that I did the lookbook in and you guys gave me so much good feedback because you guys haven't seen people who've done it that way and it means a lot to me. So I don't know why I didn't do them, but I'm hoping that I can bring more of that back more creative sims, all that stuff, um, lookbooks, I'm gonna try and do CC hauls. I think it's just because I've been so preoccupied with all these series, but I'm trying to like get them out of the way. And oh my God, speaking of series, I have been really itching to do a decades challenge. I've been seeing it around and also I'm just, been, I've been obsessed. Like I can't begin to explain to you the obsession I have with watching shows that are made in modern day, but are set in a different decade or time period, like the 1800s or the 40s, the 50s, 60s, oh my, like, listen, The Queen's Gambit on Netflix, amazing. Style, fashion, hairstyles, everything, the show itself, bomb, I love it. Now, another new show came out, Bridgerton on Netflix, oh my god, bitch, I, oh. 
I can't even begin to explain to you. Love it. There's just so many shows that I just watch and I'm like, wow, like I just admire the style. Now again, like the 1800s Victorian era, we had the girls wearing like those tight ass corsets, which honestly, sometimes I wish I could experience living in these time zones because time zones, time periods, and maybe not necessarily for like the stuff that was going on during that time, but more so for the fashion and the makeup, hairstyles and all that. That's what I'm more interested in is experiencing that. But I don't know. And I'm like, I'm like thinking now, like, do I do the decades challenge? I don't know. This would have to happen like after I finish like Black Widow or something because it just seems like I might be interested in that like following a decade or doing something decade related. Now, originally I was planning to have my Black Widow challenge be set in the 1970s, but then that kind of flew out the window and so that didn't ever happen. But that's like was my original plan. That's why Jocelyn was living in the apartment she was living in because it was going to be all set in like kind of a 70s vibe. I don't know, is anybody else obsessed with like shows that take place in a different time period? Cause if so, let me know in the comments and also let me know if you guys have any shows that take place in a different time that was like made maybe within like the past 10 years or something or even movies, I'm kind of down. I can't remember, I've seen like other ones. I just can't think of the show off the top of my head head which is completely fine but uh back to my sim because that's what this is video is about and not me just rambling but i kind of like rambling to you guys because i don't know just like sitting down and chatting with you but this sim i just love her because like she kind of gives me like this bad bitch vibe and like this is like her holiday outfit that she wore to like a christmas party or something i don't know she looks so cute i just love making my sims kind of look a little edgier although my last cast is kind of more like i guess sweeter because she was like the bookworm i feel like my go-to style anytime i would make an actual sim would be kind of the edgier vibe but i do also like kind of the other styles that i have my sims wear like even like the clumsy alien custom content like that kind of vibe i can't think of like a name for that but it's just really cute i, I just i don't know i love it i just love freaking custom content and making sims why am i such a loser <laughs> I just, I literally was sitting yesterday downloading CC and I'm like, I have such a big appreciation for custom content creators. Like, you do not even understand how much more they make me enjoy the game. And again, I apologize to all the console players out there who cannot enjoy it. But I just, it truly, like, excites me to play the game. And by play the game, I mean make sims. Like, that's me playing the game. Like, I'm just really happy making sims. So this is why I feel like I need to stick to doing something that does make me genuinely happy and like kind of not pushing myself to do things that I don't necessarily want to when it comes to my channel and just do things that I do enjoy uh, because I feel like I pushed myself with a lot of let's plays which I do enjoy doing again I do love doing let's plays but I think I pushed my limit this year when it came to them um, so I'm gonna try and like not go overboard when it comes to 2021. I'm saying this now I'm hoping that I can stick to that when it comes to this man. I can't remember what I named him I kind of just randomized their names. I know the girl I named her Blake I really wanted her to have like a very like unisex name and I just love I feel like she looks like a Blake to me for some reason um, Him I cannot remember what I gave his name for the life of me but regardless I really wanted to use this hair. I believe that this is originally an Ebonic Sims hair, but Savvy Sweet uh, went ahead and redid it or retextured it or something like that, which sadly Savvy Sweet is gone, which makes me really sad because they made such amazing custom content for Sims of Color and just, oh, it just really sucks that they're not around anymore uh, making custom content. There is a Tumblr page that has archived or is collecting um, custom content of, of Savvy Suites. So if you guys happen to have something that isn't in that folder, let that person know. I'll have the Tumblr link down below if you guys are interested. But I definitely purged that and I, I am, I'm upset that I missed out on some of the amazing CC that um, was released and I didn't end up getting it. 
but I do hope that Savvy or Shelly is doing okay. It just, it really sucks um, not having her around anymore, giving us this type of content, which is definitely lacking um, in the Sims community. So it does, it does suck. Not to say there isn't content made for black sims in the sims community it's just she was definitely a big part of that and especially it being max's match content that was really good so yeah but thankfully we do have the archive because there's just so many amazing pieces that she has made so i'm really happy that we have that at least to um kind of keep in the community but back to my sim here I really do love how he turned out. I don't think that his face is as unique as I would love it to be. I was kind of struggling, but I will say I do love the shape of his lips. It is a lip preset. I don't know which one because I downloaded so many lip presets. I think I might end up doing a video on presets again at some point, um, showing you guys some more because again, I already have two other preset videos. But um, yeah, I mean, there's not really much else to say about this sim. I love him very much and I love Blake. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this cast. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And also keep an eye out on my CC Finds Tumblr for some custom content being reblogged over the next few days and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.